Hey guys, Stella here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where today we're simulating the Battle of Tsushima. This is going to be a battle for my CPU, probably, because the amount of ships is going to be off the scale. The Russian Empire, in this case, and I'm drawing these numbers from Wikipedia, so they might not be entirely accurate, but I'm going to have to rely on them anyway. The Russians have eight battleships, three coastal battleships, eight cruisers and nine destroyers. Now, since I don't know exactly what the specs were for these coastal battleships, I'm going to say I have 10 battleships, because I believe a coastal battleship is something that's not entirely as powerful as a normal battleship, so let's sort of balance them out like that. So I have 10 battleships, 8 heavies, and 9 destroyers. Then come the Japanese. The Japanese have 5 battleships, 23 heavy cruisers, although Wikipedia just says cruiser, so I don't know if it's heavies or lights. 20 destroyers and 16 torpedo boats. This is going to be a lot for my CPU to render and, uh, or well, that's the GPU's job, but to calculate and keep track of. So it's potentially going to be a long battle because I really don't risk or dare risk running it at higher speeds. Now I'm going to be designing the battleship. Uh, yeah, too many ships. <laughs> this might affect performance significantly. Let's proceed and see how it's going to go down. Uh, these are, believe it or not, the battleships. They are not particularly sizable and they are definitely not recognizable if you're using the modern standards. Now let's uh, try and up the displacement a bit. What could possibly go wrong if you have a bigger ship and a, a hell of a lot of torpedoes out there? It's going to be a really weird fight. I'm considering just letting the AI manage a whole bunch of my ships because, well, I have actually the fewer number of ships. The uh, Japanese have a ton of them. And, well, I wouldn't even be fully surprised if the AI is managing to torpedo their own ships. As for my tech levels, I have uh, the triple steam expansion engine or multiple expansion steam engine. Uh, less damage for the engines would be helpful. Let's go for coal. I'm going to go with induced draft boilers, which gives me a bit more funnel capacity. And does that give me enough? Yes. Auxiliary engine, uh, auxiliary petrol, petrol engine, armor tier, um, nickel steel, Harvey Krupp 1 or 2. Let's go for Krupp 1. Double bo uh, hull bottom, reinforced bulkheads 1. Let's put this on. Uh, <laughs> I think the range has to be very long for this battle. If you consider that the Russians came on a trip that took them, I believe, seven months in order to get to this battle, I think they're going to have to have very long range. Um, I'll be linking down in the description below, by the way, a video about the Russian transits to this area of operations. It's a hilarious read. Uh, <laughs> everything that could go wrong went wrong. Now, for rangefinder, I have stereoscopic one. Or coincidence two. I don't really need long range because I'm starting at 12,000 meters. Although maybe in this day and age that is considered long range. So let's go with gun aiming speed instead. Um, as for radio, maybe a bit more improved range would help. <clears throat> but oh, it's anybody's guess if it's going to work. I'm already running up to the limitations of my displacement. This is going to be tricky to field. What can I... <laughs> I can put 9-inch guns on here. Um, considering the vast number of lighter ships that I'm up against, this might not be a bad idea. Let's go for tech. Uh, it's all... No, these are Mark IIs. Let's go for 10-inch. One on the bow, one on the stern, and that is all you can do. Now I'll try to get the aft weight offset. Why is the aft weight offset 10%? That's unusual. Even without the turrets. Oh, it is the turrets which are causing the aft weight offset. All right. That is pretty curious, actually. Right. I still have 900, no, seven, 600 tons left. Let's go with a whole bunch of secondaries. A four inch. No, thank you. Could I even fit any secondaries anywhere? Oh, yes, here on the sides. On the cheeks of the turret, or the, yeah, the cheeks of the ship. 
six inch, that's a mark three, mark three, mark two. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Or am I gonna get overweight? No, not yet. Ship's not overweight just yet. Right. Where can I fit the second type of gun that I want? The four inch over here and over there. I still have displacement left, but my aft weight offset is pretty depressing. <laughs> and I have no idea how to get rid of it. Because it seems like maybe the engine's on the back? I've already moved both of my funnels to the front, but it's not helping. I still have... No, I do need that second funnel. Otherwise, my funnel capacity is not good enough. So let's get that second funnel in there as well. And then... I don't know where I'm going to... How am I going to get this aft weight offset killed off? <clears throat> Barbettes? That's only making it worse. So it might be that there's a whole bunch of armor on the stern. Is my rear tower so heavy? 448? 590? No, it's not that bad. Uh, base... Yeah, base accuracy is double on the rear tower 2 as compared to the rear tower... No, rear tower 3 is twice as good. Okay, well... Let's fill her up with casemate guns. Oh, those are not slots for four inch guns. All right, that sucks. I was really hoping to use those. There we go, three inch guns all over the place. I'm not really expecting miracles from these things because they can only fire out to a range of six kilometers and at a range of about two and a half, they become effective. Now, torpedo launchers. I can fit a few. So let's go with those because they might... Oh, okay, not on the stern. Because they might help me. Oh, there goes the aft weight offset. Only down to 3.3. Torpedo range is a low 6 kilometers. I'm not going to adjust this because I'm already at my weight limit. And yes, I know I can still up this to 17.5. But no, let's stick to 16.5. For no particular reason, it's just something I decided on. All right, I think we're about ready. This is gonna be mayhem. I hope the game doesn't outright crash when I start up this simulation. Because I'm, what was it? I'm generating about 50 ships. Something ridiculous like that. Look at all these divisions being generated. Okay, here goes. So I have 27 ships. <laughs> the Japanese. Holy shit. This is 43 ships, 48, 64 ships on the Japanese side. So I am more than uh, doubly outnumbered. So I'm generating 70 to 80 ships. Okay. What do we have and what are they formed? Um, yeah, we're already opening up. This is going to be mayhem, and I find it hard to manage a few ships, let alone this many. Um, AIs, take control of the heavy cruiser. No, actually, don't take control of the heavy cruisers. I'll do that. Look at this. This is nuts. Dmitry Donskoy already taking a bunch of damage. It could make for a really pretty thumbnail, though. Whoops. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to turn the HUD off. Thank you. And this is actually how I generate my thumbnails, in case you're uh, curious. I just take an in-game screenshot. F11, for those of you who have the game. <coughs> I uh, will reiterate the name of the game, because every single video there is somebody who says, What's the name of the game? God damn it, it's in the title, I mentioned it in the video, it's in the description, it's usually in the comment section as well. This is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. You can pre-order it through the link down below in the description. Beyond that, it is really not rocket science. Look at the title, look at the name of the video, look at the thumbnail, and look at the description, and maybe you can get a clue from there. All right, end rant. Destroyers, we're gonna move up. I haven't even checked what my ships are armed with. 
Uh, these carry 2.7 kilometer range torpedoes. Okay, suicide runners. Roger that. The heavies I have designed... No, sorry, the battleships I've designed. The heavies, 10 inch. That's respectable. 5 inch secondaries. I have divisions of 3, 5 and 2 battleships. Actually, maintain line formation. We're just going to have to rely on the number of shells that we throw out, more so than trying to get close enough. The other battleships, the Moskva and the Knia Suvorov, maintain course. I have no idea what sort of damage I have been doing. Looks like this warship is currently taking the brunt of the damage. But so far, despite taking a ton of fire... And having a couple of fires raging on the deck, it really seems quite resistant to this fire. Now, the Japanese don't have a lot of battleships. If I can knock those out, my heavy cruisers might survive a little longer. Up until the point where this uh, very aggressive smoke screen is going to come out to play. And start throwing torpedoes in what the AI might use in sort of suicide rushes. Heavy cruisers are making a mess of things. The whole formation is going to crap. Alright, this is the other formation of heavies, right? Yeah, alright, I want you to turn right into the enemy. I need you to start shielding for the battleships, otherwise there might not be any battleships left very soon. About the game called Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, I do not know when it's going to come to Steam. I keep getting asked this question, I don't know. Uh, I'm not even sure if the devs know. It's, well, I guess as they say, it's ready when it's ready. And not before. And I respect that. That is their stance. Because one too many times lately, we've had games which were uh, potentially considered ready-ish. And then they rolled out. And then we're going, what is this buggy mess? How are we supposed to play this? Um, so if the devs are taking their time, then I am happy that they do. Alright, it looks like we found the destroyers. They're operating in really close formation here. The Russians just lost their first ship, the Dmitry Donskoy. Oh, crap. Sviatoy Sergei also took quite a bit of damage and is flooding. And now, oh no, now you're also going to try and rejoin formation at the back of the line. That's going to make this all the more difficult. Now, at least these destroyers are not getting very close. It looks like the secondaries are doing a very good job at keeping them at bay. I do have a fair amount of ammo for those guns. Uh, 1,552 shells there. 1,200 for the single 4-inch. Another 1,200 for the double 4-inch. I just don't know if these things I've already posed a big risk by torpedoing my ships. If they have, then this whole formation is doomed. But <laughs> the problem is, the ships are sinking before I can even identify them. So I don't know what sort of torpedoes they have, or what their range is, but at 4 kilometers, I'm getting a bit nervous about their capabilities. It's almost hard not to send out torpedoes, although my DDs only have a range of 2.7. Speaking of, uh, my DDs are trying to close the distance, seemingly having taken very little damage as of yet. The other DDs, we're going to charge right in, and when we get closer, pop the smoke screens, and then start lobbing torpedoes left and right. Because these do do a lot of damage. And if all of these Japanese warships don't have a lot of armor, or... Oh shit, this one has maximum bulkheads, this heavy cruiser. That's not helping me. Minimum on the battleships, though. DD, 70%. Look at this. This is another three guys operating really very close. Oh, crap. The uh, Vitny is trying to fall back into formation behind the... I think the last ship of the line, which is the Voskoy... <coughs> Voskovoy. Sorry if I'm butchering that. I don't really speak Russian, so I'm trying to do my best. The Chogai, Japanese battleship, has also taken a bit of damage. This is the ship I've been peppering for a while, but it refuses to sink. For now. 
Ah, we got the DDs. Oh no. That's five kilometer torpedo range. That means that it's only a matter of time before everything starts taking torpedo damage. The heavy cruisers are now also trying to rejoin formation and then fall in or fall out. Which is unsurprising because they seem to have taken a load of damage here. The Alexander Menchikov. So far it's hard to keep track of who has been actually getting uh, ships sunk or not. I think I've lost one heavy cruiser. And the Japanese might have lost some DDs in a bunch of torpedo boats. But they have so much more here. <clears throat> that it's going to be a real mess to clean up. I hope though that with every ship that sinks... The AI is going to take a little pressure, or the game is going to take a little pressure off of my CPU. And that the game is going to run a little more smoothly, because I think I'm pushing the thing to the limits. Murakumo has sent out torpedoes, but does anybody bet where they went? So you only have one single torpedo tube on the stern. No, you got a couple, actually. Alright, smoke it up. Uh, I'd say just point torpedoes in the general direction of the enemy and see what happens. It's pretty much you're bound to hit something. That many ships? You're bound to hit something. Alexander is still trying to fall back. The Chesma group is <laughs> all over the place. Oh no, there goes the DD. Oh, it seems like we did avoid most of the torpedoes here. Torpedo cluster. Jeez, the, ship, the game hasn't even rendered all the ships yet. There are still more Japanese reinforcements coming in. The Zutki was a destroyer. Here come more torpedoes. Uh, aggressive torpedo launch. I don't particularly care what you even try to hit. <clears throat> Just send it. DD, start turning starboard. Please give me my frame rate back. At least the Zutki might still... No, it's not going to eat a torpedo. I was hoping I could use it as a sort of torpedo shield. All of these. Oh, there goes the Ashi. That's another destroyer. Minikaze. Murakumo could still go down. But I have so many ships, I don't even know what I'm shooting at anymore. It looks like the Wounded Shogai has been able to pump out all the water. But is able to fall back and use the rest of the Japanese fleet as a massive distraction. Uh, let's have the Synops group close in a little bit more. I know that I should be giving all these ships targeting priorities, but it's really hard to keep track of what's going on here. Uh, heavy cruiser group, try and engage the destroyers. Just thin them out before they start actually doing massive torpedo runs on me. Speaking of torpedo runs... I am unable to get any torpedoes away. Uh, that was the Vidney. Where is the Vidney? Oh, that's this one. That did take a torpedo. The Ivan Gorod is also going to take one. Potentially two if it gets particularly unlucky. Fyodor Stratilat. Sorry, Fyodor. It's going to take a bit of damage here and there. That's potentially a torpedo boat sunk, but also the Fyodor. There goes the Hayashimo. Jeez, what a mess. Torpedoes away? Question mark versus the heavy cruiser. Yes. The uh, Bedovyi has launched torpedoes. I need you to switch to aggressive torpedo mode. And, well, see what you can hit. One thing that I'm still really missing with this game is a kill tally at the end of the mission. Where it says, okay, you have sunk this many ships, you have done this much damage, you have uh, been able to damage the enemy using this many torpedoes. 
pretty much what, for example, a game like World of Warships or other similar games give you at the end of the ma at the, end of the uh, battle, at the end of the match. So that you know what was effective, what was not effective, uh, what units still really need to do better. There goes the Soggy. Oh, these are the torpedo boats. Range 2.7, so pretty much suicide range as well. There goes the Yoko. That was the heavy cruise that got torpedoed. We're apparently still targeting the Chogai. Alright, there goes the Tochni. Well, I am rapidly losing ships here. I think the battle is not going to last for very long at this rate. There goes the uh, Alexander. Took them long enough to sink her, though. She has been taking beating after beating. Uh, group of the Viborg. I want you to turn port. And have your secondary strain on the Maikazi. I think we're getting accidental kills here as well, by the way. The battleships might still be trying to target the Chugai. But currently... The torpedo boat over there was getting too close. And was actually, I think, an unexpected victim. Look at this. You turn this off. <laughs> the game does really look good. Really, really nice. Look at this ship. That's actually a pretty modern looking ship, by the way. For the 1905 era. Now, my fleet seems to be a bit of a burning mess. Uh, I have ships almost punching through each other here. I still have... What are you? The Arkango Mikhail. Well, it is firing. But you're pretty far behind. Whose group is that? It's the Nakimov group. All right. Well, let's hope that I can do something useful then. I'm going to do a torpedo run with the Moskva versus the uh, Otakisan. And hopefully wipe out one more battleship. There goes the Chuga and the Minikaze. Oh, Victor won't be here for much longer. Hopefully we can still take down the Tochi. Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering names of either Japanese or Russian ships. I always try to do my best with the, the pronunciations. But I'm not perfect in any way with those things. Uh, those should miss. Set your torpedoes on the Otakisan. Torpedoes away. There goes the Capitan. I'm not even going to try that one. The Victor is dead. How many ships do I actually have left, effectively? I still have seven, nine battleships and four heavy cruisers, and that's it. Oh, there's only a few Japanese left. We got this. Not to worry. Not to worry. The torpedoes from the Moskva look really good. We did sink two more ships, including finally the Chogai. Jeez, that took me forever. Um, if the group from the Moskva could prioritize this ship, that'd be great. Oh, you're going to miss? Oh, he narrowly dodged those two torpedoes there. Damn. That sucks. Oh, he didn't miss, though. Maikazi sinks due to heavy flooding. How are these battleships doing? Relatively okay. Heavy cruisers? I'm going to try and rely on heavy cruisers to thin out those destroyers and uh, torpedo boats as much as possible. And if they're this close together, then there are bound to be... Well, let's say unintended collateral damage. Ships will take hits, which are not supposed to uh, go for them. There goes the Futami. Moskva is still flooding. Oh, can we finally land a torpedo? Yes, there it is. The Otakisan has tor been torpedoed. The uh, Marakumo, sorry, Murakumo is sinking. I think this is already going better for the Russians than the original battle in Tsushima. Oh, sorry, the battle of Tsushima. 
Because I believe that that one was uh, a bit of a failure on their part. Um, supposedly, in that situation, the Japanese only lost three torpedo boats. And I have already sunk one battleship. Uh, a second one seems to be on the way down. A couple of destroyers and a couple of torpedo boats. But again, without a, a good tally, it's hard to keep a track on what I have actually sunk. Most of the damage so far has come from over pens and pens, interestingly. Torpedo is making up for very little of the damage. But look at how many cruisers the Japanese still have left. And that's 11 inch guns on them as well. Which makes them all the more dangerous. Uh, this group, this is the Moskva. Oh jeez, you're taking a risk there, Moskva. Try to get your torpedoes out on the starboard side. Against the uh, Yakushi. Yep, torpedoes away. Yakushi is working on the turn. There goes another heavy cruiser. I think she's perfectly going to dodge. Oh, I did hit a torpedo here. Was that mine? Yes. With a destroyer. I didn't realize I had any destroyers left. So it must have been an old parting gift from another destroyer. Uh, let's try and have this group turn around. I still want you to try and torpedo this group. Oh, this is going to be a problem. The uh, Sviatoi has sent out torpedoes against the Yakushi. But if they... Kniaz keeps going, then she could sink. All right, heavy cruisers, we've got another ship incoming. Uh, that's also going to be the secondary target of the uh, Sviatoy group. Yukutaka could sink. Probably will sink. Fortunately for me, none of these heavy cruisers have torpedoes. So there is still the potential to just rush them. It's not the safest thing to do. But why not? I have torpedoes, I have relatively good armor, and it seems like most of the torpedo boats are dead. Oh, that was good. Oh, there was a torpedo hit on them! And this was a torpedo hit on me. Ah, <sighs> as expected, there was a friendly torp. No such thing as a friendly torpedo, but the Yakushi has also finally been hit by a torpedo, and now a second one. And that should cause her to go down very quick. Back over to the left, the Tochi is avoiding most, if not all, of the fire. Switch to the Kotaka. See if we can sink that <clears throat> before it... Oh shit, I already got another tarp off. No! Turn, turn, turn. How are my heavies doing? Mm, not great. <laughs> Putting it mildly. Not great. Concentrate fire on the Kotaka. Ah, there goes Moskva. I did land a torpedo on the Tatara? With a battleship? Are you kidding? That's what happens when you have six, sorry, five kilometer torpedoes and we're fighting at a range of 3.6. Oh, this is amusing. The Yakushi is still here. Now let's have the Synop turn this way. We still have to fight the Nagato. There's the Hosho over there. And a whole bunch of heavies. There, finally, the Kotaka goes down. But not before landing a torpedo on the Svea Toy Alexander. And I'm trying to fire... What is that? The main armament at the destroyer with 1% chance to hit. Thank you, I'll pass. These torpedoes against this cluster of cruisers could still prove useful. Hopefully. Send up a bit more. The group from the Viborg is still trying to head in, but they're all <laughs> sort of rejoining formation. I think currently on the Sviatoy Sergei. And they're all trying to skip over each other in this sort of hopscotch way, which is really not working. Because they're making themselves very exposed to enemy fire. What do I have here? Uh, that's not a pretty picture. Knias Suvorov. About to go down. <clears throat> right, that's another battleship less. 
leaving me with a <clears throat> sorry fairly manageable actually six combat capable battleships and two heavy cruisers versus a Japanese fleet pretty much as wide as the eye can see secondary armament on the uh, Kusukuma actually mains as well I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of damage against the Nagato but I might be able to kill the cruiser I just see another torpedo hit here Looks like both the Takao and the Izumo took a torpedo hit. The AI is just as much struggling with trying to keep these ships sorted out as I am. Nope, turn this way, turn this way. Knia uh, target that one with your torpedoes if you can. The Knias is basically the last surviving ship here. Oh, beautiful. The Sisoi Veliki has sent out two torpedoes, which will probably kill off the Yakasushi. Whoa! <laughs> that was spectacular. That detonated the ammo for 3,010 damage. Well done. Now, this Fiatoi is heavily damaged and is trying to fall back behind the rest of the group. So she's breaking formation, leaving the Sinal pretty damn far ahead of the rest of the fleet. With severe damage. I'm not sure if I've already sent out torpedoes with the Sviatoi. Let's turn port a bit more. But hey, at least I can say that I've done better than what the Japanese originally did. Versus the Russians, which was to just lose three torpedo boats. I have sunk a hell of a lot more already. So I call this uh, at least a better performance. Uh, not a great performance, probably. But judging by the amount of ships that I'm trying to keep off of me. I don't... Well, let's say I wasn't really expecting a big win on this one. That was never going to be in the cards. I heard a torpedo hit. Yep. But I did hit another torpedo. Yes. Here. That could be the Knia Suvorov. Which was hitting the Otakasan. Yep. Come on. Off you go. There she goes. But not before sending out one last parting gift. And that could be the death of the Knias. Flooding. 426 damage and fire. Not good. And there is more on the way. Two here, one there. The Knias is good as dead. Now, how many torpedo boats and DDs do they have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think. And the rest is all heavy cruiser. Keep in mind, they started this with, uh, what was it, 20... 23 cr uh, cruisers, 23 heavy cruisers. So yeah, they had a bit more firepower than I did. Only by a small margin. Not to worry. Not to worry. What are we trying to kill? Um, a heavy cruiser. This one. The uh, Minamikoma. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that I can send out another two torpedoes with this Fiat toy. Because in this... It's just a big cluster, and some of these ships just seem parked. I believe that the Takao... Yeah, it was the Takao that took a bunch of damage from a torpedo hit. And the other one was the Izumo. So that makes them vulnerable. Yep, torpedoes away. Uh, come hard to starboard. See if we can finish off the Izumo with the rest of the group. Because I don't think we're going to get the uh, Kurubiguru. Not likely. There she goes. Knia Suvorov is done. The Sinop is... Almost entirely healthy. Calling me impressed. Let's see if we can torpedo the Hosho. The Hosho will return torpedoes with one broadside launcher by the looks of it. One on the port, one on the starboard. So I'm going to have to keep a really close eye on that and see if it actually will hit. All right, your current target is a heavy cruiser. I want your secondary batteries to go for the Okinawa. Before it has evil plans on my ships. 
these evil designs of these little torpedo boats. And something like this, something this small, can sink something that big, if you're not careful. Come on, sign up. Continue on the turn. Starboard hard. I'm really hoping that those four inch casemates can actually do something useful for once. Hard to port. Torpedoes are away. Osho is turning in, which means that her torpedoes are not capable of firing. There goes the uh, Natsushio. Sorry, Natsushio. We're still trying to kill off the Izumo here. These torpedoes don't look good. I'm not really gonna bring my hopes up. There goes the Okinawa. Very good. Was she hit by a torpedo by any chance? No, by an overpen. Speaking of the torpedoes, the Sinop did send out the torpedoes and they still look pretty good. But the Hosho has also sent out a torpedo. I hope that I can slow down a bit and avoid that torp, because that's not something that the Sinop really needs right now. Hosho looks to get two on the nose. Yep, fire and flooding. With minimum bulkheads, that could spell the doom for the Hosho. Oh, Sinop, please turn. Slow and turn. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, let's try to finish off the Hosho. The Sisoy Veliki is still perfectly fine. So I can use her to finish off the Hosho. Although the Hosho, I think, might just flood. Or do they have it under control? No, it's still going down. It's 9%. 6. 3%. Make it happen. There she goes. There goes the Hosho. Well done. That leaves just a bunch of heavy cruisers, which... Sure enough, they have impressive armament at 11 inch. But I do kind of wonder how much firepower they can actually put out. How much of a threat they can actually be. We're about to find out on the other side with the Sviatoi. Because the Sviatoi is approaching almost boarding range against the Takao. Uh, torpedoes have been sent out versus the Izumo. Are you doing this alone? Yeah, because everybody else is breaking formation. That's why. <clears throat> the Izumo has two damaged engines, so it probably will not be that capable of avoiding the torpedoes. Speaking of... Seems like most of my torpedoes have been destroyed over here. Oh, that torpedo looks promising. Because the Kisukoma is not moving that fast. Just one on the stern. Right at the rudder. Please? Yes. Torpedo hit. 306 damage and flooding. This is when these battleships could really start to shine, because now they can just go to town on these heavy cruisers. That's the Sinop. I'm going to detach the Sisoy, because I want to keep it pretty much directly pointed towards the enemy. I want to get there fast. The battleship here is still taking a lot of damage, but it is surviving. Um, maybe I can send out the bow torpedo launcher against this cruiser, which is at 700 meter range. If it hasn't already, I wouldn't be surprised if these torpedo tubes are almost all the time sending out a torpedo. There we go, torpedo away, bow torpedo tube. Perfect. If you have starboard torpedo tubes ready, go for the Kako. Uh, <laughs> ramming speed is not really a thing at the moment. I mean, the whole group is not really going to get up to ramming speed anyway. Oh crap, they got more destroyers? Okay. Hit amidships, 207 damage. Engines 2 and 3 damaged, and she has taken flooding. Speaking of flooding, how's that cruiser here doing? Pretty well, actually. She doesn't seem to be very affected. Unlike the Sinop. Which is starting to take serious flooding damage on the bow, although she is fighting it and pumping it out. But she's still taking on a bit of water, according to the damage control screen. There goes the Suma and the Nevsky. I didn't even know I had cruisers left. Oh, there you are. 
All right. The Sviatoy has sent out more torpedoes, this time towards the starboard side. Maybe I can also get another launch on the port side against the uh, Yumiori, which we've already hit once with a torpedo. I'm actually quite surprised at how much damage I'm capable of doing with these ships. It's always a bet what sort of ships the Japanese, or well, in this case the Japanese, but what the AI comes up with. And for now, it seems to be remarkably effective. So I'm really happy with the performance so far, despite losing a ton of ships. Synop's not going to be long here. Oh, the Sviatoy Lakov, or Iokov. Well, she's trying to join, but with a damaged rudder, it's going to be a bit hard to avoid torpedoes. So you fire on the destroyer. I need to start finishing off these wounded ships. Because there are a load of those around. Like here, the Yumiori. That's the one I torpedoed. Uh, the Takao is almost damaged, is or, or is almost dead. So that's the priority, and this is the secondary for the torpedoes. And the secondary guns. <coughs> Trying to take out these two ships would free up a bit more capacity. Both for my CPU and for me to push up. Viborg has sent out a torpedo against the Yumiori, and there goes the uh, Minimakoma. Which I think was over here? Somewhere? Oh crap, the Synop's not gonna win this fight. Maybe send out torpedoes against the Nagato. If we still have torpedo tubes left on the starboard side, that is. Oh, she took a torpedo hit. Let me guess. From the Nagato. Nagato has sent out another torpedo. Um, maintain fire with the secondaries and the primaries on this. Torpedo that target. Sisoy is a single ship, so I can manage that a bit more easily. And Sviatoy, I'm going to detach her. Whoa, no, 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 no. Detach. Sviatoy, push in. Let's see what the mess is over here. There she goes. She has taken another... Hold on, she's taken hits from friendlies. She has detected the torpedoes from the starboard side of the V-Borg, but it's too little too late. She will go down. <laughs> that was a bit excessive. But rather a dead cruiser than having more of these half-dead cruisers around. So, let's try and finish off the Takao at this point. And over here, the Sisoy might be in a perfect position to start doing torpedo runs on, well, everything. Uh, try to hit the Casa with this, the, the port torpedo set. Go for the... Uh, uh, no, actually go for the Yonen with the bow torpedo tube. Turn a bit more, turn a bit more, turn a bit more, turn a bit more. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Almost lined up. Almost. Torpedo away. Next target. Aka. Starboard torpedo tubes. Get ready. This is the ultimate brawler. Torpedo left, right, and center. She's taking damage, but she's doing a lot of damage to the Japanese as well. How are these looking? It looks... Well, I might hit one... I think they're gonna dodge. But the Yonen didn't. More torpedo tubes have been discharged onto the Aka. Where's that battleship going? Oh, these could still hit the Taiyo. Unintended side effect of the torpedoes, which were originally designed to go for the Kasa. Torpedoes hit. Both torpedoes hit on the Aka. So now I've expended all torpedo tubes. Let's just try and finish off these ships with the remainder of the guns. 
I'm saying remainder. I probably don't have a whole lot left. This gentleman is not very helpful. How are the battleships here doing? The Viborg. <clears throat> the Viborg is seemingly ready to send out more torpedoes. I'm kind of losing track on what torpedoes were ready. Okay, port torpedoes away. Let's see if we can land a bow shot on the Suzuya. Flooding on the uh, Yatsugatake. And the Tayo did indeed take a torpedo. Unfortunately, seemingly on a sector which has already been completely flooded. So she might not notice. Oh crap, there's another DD coming in. In a hurry as well. This thing has to go down. Sisoy Veliki is on fire in several locations and flooding. Oh, get those four inches trained on the enemy before it gets torpedoes off. She's turning. Sisoy, turn to port <coughs> as hard as you can. Quick. If not, you're going to regret it. Michizuki coming in for the torpedo run. Where are your torpedo tubes? Still not any. A midships? You should have already fired. But it's not. I might still have a chance here. Alright, let's switch back to the V-Borg. Uh, the V-Borg. Where did I have the torpedo sent? Oh, the Washiba seemingly has been hit. Pretty bad. Yep, two torpedoes for well over 500 points of damage. Back to here, back to the Veliki. The Sisoy. She's trying very hard to kill off the uh, Mishizuki, but too little too late, and the torpedoes from the destroyer did hit the Sisoy Veliki. Where's my other battleship? Here, here's my other battleship offensive. Um, I want you to try and land a bow torpedo. Oh, no, actually, I think the bow torpedo is already on the way. In that case, turn starboard a bit. Because then we might be able to launch on the Tayo. If we can hit her on the bow, we can finish off that ship. Yep, there we go. Starboard torpedo is away. Come back to port. Try to get the port launchers on the Haku. I'm really surprised at how much damage these battleships are able to take. Oh, and I still <laughs> I still have a heavy cruiser. That's adorable. Sisoy Veliki, come on girl. Oh no. Two more torpedoes from a torpedo boat. The Shibushi. Cute. Uh, torpedo whatever you can at this point. Let's see. No big hits on the Haku. Torpedo if you can. The Tayo goes down. Finally. The torpedo hits from the Sviatoy finished her off. These torpedoes are looking really good. That also has to do with them being launched at 400 meter range. One hit, two hit, 600 damage. Although, the, of course, the additional hits from the main guns were also quite helpful in that regard. I am seriously starting to thin out the Japanese. Good hit on the destroyer. How's the V-Borg doing? She's taken quite a bit of structural integrity damage. But her flooding is actually pretty much under control. Need to be careful when saying that, of course, because now I have probably jinxed it. Send a port torpedo tubes against the Chokai if you can. There goes another destroyer. That was the one who was threatening the battleship. The battleship. The Sisoy is still there? How are you still alive? 
there she goes. That was an impressive performance. All right, uh, bow torpedo tube away. Target is the uh, Shiruma. Try and get the ports. No, actually, that'd be a waste. Uh, ooh, starboard tubes in the Kumano. If I look deep, I can see there's still two more ships around there that might take a hit. I want the Chesma to take out that ship. And the wounded Sviatoy Alexander might be useful in this regard. Alright, the Viborg did take in a lot of flooding in the meanwhile. Torpedo sent out, but I think the Shiruma might have seen that. She's not falling for it. Sviatoy Lakov, keep going. Oh, you have the perfect shot on the Akuma. Use their starboard torpedo tubes. Get those things on target. Come on. Finish her. Give me the secondaries as well, on the Yakumo. At this range, even four inches can kill. No, Senep refuses to fire. The Haku has also taken severe damage and is at risk of sinking. Uh, but I think they might have the, f the leak under control. Let's try and take care of the Haku. Oh, this time around the heavies are not doing very well. Archangel Mikhail has lost all propulsion, flooding and on fire. She's going down very quickly. So really what I still have available is... As far as effectiveness goes, the Sviatoy Lakov, or Iakov, and the Chesma. Although the Chesma just did take a big explosion, ammo detonation. There finally goes the Suzayama. Uh, oh, look at these things, they're so weak. Can we get the port torpedo tubes and the Wasiba? There really aren't a lot of ships left. Let's see, what do we have that I can finish off here? The Takao? Could I land to disturb our torpedoes on the Takao, maybe? Because all torpedo tubes are supposedly ready, and the Takao has taken on a lot of water and lost propulsion. So that's an opportunity. I'm seeing a couple of torpedoes here. Possibly launched by the Synop, although the Synop has... No, the Synop's not sending out torpedoes. She is listing the starboard pretty severely. No, actually, it's not that bad. It looks it looks worse from above. It's quite a bit worse from above, actually. Let's see if you can get the port torpedo tubes in the Kurubigoyo. Maintain for propulsion. Mikhail target the Kurobiguro before she starts boarding you. Standard. Same target. Synap is dead in the water. I have nowhere to go, but I might defend myself with the port torpedo tubes against that approaching cruiser. There we go. Port torpedo. Torpedoes away. Starboard torpedo tubes. I think they still refuse to fire. <coughs> But this could severely damage the Kako. Hit. Hit. Well done. Good work, guys. The Russians in the actual Battle of Tsushima might have been a bit of a pushover for the Japanese, but right now... Damn. Ah, there goes the Archangel. Well, that was a matter of time. Standard can still fire, but I kind of question her ability to actually do any, well, any real damage. Please finish off the Takao. Get the port torpedo tubes away versus the Kurabigoro. Because she has, yeah, she's taken on water, but she has still got propulsion. Oh, and there's still a full health battleship over here, by the way. <clears throat> That's a problem. 
So I'll definitely not win the fight. There goes sit up. I'll definitely not win the fight, but these guys fought like lions. Unrelenting as well. Just my Viborg. Turn to starboard. I'm actually going to be able to put it to times two now. Sviatoy, Portipeter tubes, if you have them. Are there any healthy Japanese cruisers, I wonder? Look at this mess. Oh, the Asso sinks. Due to structural damage. Where's the Asso? Here? Yes. What hit you? Oh, you got an ammo detonation. From a friendly destroyer. Well, not that friendly, I guess. You two... Oh. Hold up. <clears throat> they were still part of the same group, I think. Can we finish off these two cruisers? You and you. I will want to keep turning to starboard to get closer and uh, hit them with more torpedoes. Shviatoy. Turn starboard, buddy. Turn starboard. Engage the Takao. If you aren't already. The standard is about to sink. No, actually, she's fighting it. Flooding. 2%, 4%, 1%, 2%, 3%. Oh, it's not enough. She goes down. Well, they did everything they could to try and stop that flooding. So that just leaves me with two effective battleships. The Chesma and the Sviatoy. Oh, sorry, and the Alexander. The Sviatoy Alexander, insofar as there's anything left of that. Because I'm not really counting the V-Borg as an effective combat platform at the moment. Seeing as it has taken a load of damage. And she seems to be dead in the water as well. She's doing 1.6 knots. Chesma is doing a fairly respectable 14.7 knots. Very nice. There are still some healthy ships around. <clears throat> so I'll never sink them all. But I think I might be able to take a couple of more heavy cruisers with me before I hit the bottom. Like the Takao. How are my ammo counts doing? Pretty good, actually. That shouldn't be a concern. Sviatoy. Engage the Takao. Starboard torpedoes away. Excellent. Uh, switch fire to the choke guy if you have torps on that flank. Can she avoid? Well, not very well. Damaged engine and damaged rudder. She's going to have a big problem trying to avoid damage. Oh, crap. You sent out torpedoes probably... Yeah, against the V-Borg. That's not something that the V-Borg can sustain. Dead. Ship destroyed. Alright, try and sink the Kaki, and then with the mains, I want you to go for the Shiruma. Torpedoes are away on Sviatoy. Yep. Try and bring these battleships a bit closer together because those destroyers are a pest. It seems like they send out torpedoes again. Turn hard to starboard and start slowing down aggressively. Although it might not matter because those do look like fast torpedoes. 32 knots. Oh no, this might only make it worse. That was a good torpedo salver, but a cocky. And the Hibiki might just be waiting for a finish off operation. Try to get their, their bow torpedo away on the Hibiki. I'm not expecting a miracle, but it. Uh oh. Oh no! No, 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 no. <laughs> That's four torpedoes. Come on! Bow torpedo away. Chesma. Dead. Well, maybe this one torpedo is still going to do something useful. Sviatoy is about to lose its most important weapon, which is the torpedo tubes. 
That's what I've been using to get all that damage out. But it's probably not enough. Although it will be enough for the Takao. There she goes. And there's the Takao dead. Very good. Now, which one first? Let's try to land a torpedo on the Shibi. This ship still has nine torpedoes. Come on, she's not particularly quick. Not doing, yep, there we go. Bow torpedo tube used. Torpedo away. Looks like the torpedoes that I sent out against the destroyers didn't work. Torpedo boat takes damage from the sphere toy. Oh no, it's those DDs again. So you can only make, what, four knots? Seven top speed. But that's still more than what the Washibi can do. And that's going to come at the expense of the Washibi. Flooding amidships. All engines down. Try to get those twer torpedoes away. On Oh, the Washibi sinks. That was fast. Get torpedoes away on the Chukai. Yep, torpedoes away. Excellent. I think we can ride off that heavy cruiser. This ship has no torpedoes left. This one does, however. The Hibiki, we've seen that one before. And in that situation, it was able to kill off one of my battleships. There's torpedo here, there's torpedoes. She does not have a lot of floatability left. So this should be the last dent that she needs. Oh, beautiful. One on the stern, one perfectly landed on the bow. Buoyancy is going down very quick. 19, 17, 15, 13, 11. Come on. 3, 2, 4. No, 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 no. You're not going to survive this one. I refuse to believe that. What? It's going back up to five? Three, two... People are stuffing socks into the side of the ship now, trying to keep it afloat, but to no avail. Alright, the Sviatoy avoided two torpedoes. Probably... From the Hibi... No, not from the Hibiki. We also got the Shimakaze, the Take, and the Kaki over there. At least I have my two gun platforms together. Yeah, don't worry, it's already dead. Um, I might be able to sink a few more of them. Sviato, I heard starboard. Engage the wounded Hatsuharu. Sviato, only has four torpedoes left. I want you to only send those when I tell you to. I'm too close together with these ships. Increase speed if you can. Ooh, maybe not too much, though. Hatsuharu. Come on. Don't let her fix. Don't let her fix. It's crucial. Cannot have that ship repair itself again. If it does, it can come back for another torpedo attack. Because she's no, she has no torpedoes left. Okay, so she's not that much of a threat. Oh no, torpedoes from the starboard of the sphere toy. One hits. The other one passes by the bow. Oh crap! Hard to starboard sphere toy. She might still avoid. She avoided. The Alexander, however, sorry, the Sviatoy, <clears throat> not so happy about it. But then again, with two damaged engines, there's not that much that I can do to still avoid torpedoes. Get rid of these little things. Be quick about it, because they still, well, some of them, still have ammo left. 
Look at that. There's like a pack of hyenas circling the prey. Oh, right. My torpedoes were out. You're not dead? Color me impressed. The Shimakaze is dead. That one's flooding. I'm trying to keep this Fiat toy on unpredictable turns to make sure I can keep avoiding those torpedoes and at some point they will run out like the Hibiki right now. <clears throat> she does not have any torpedoes left. The Kaki, I believe... No, the Kaki also got rid of all of them. But the Take still has two torpedoes. I'd be very surprised if she was able to miss with those two torpedoes. Because this Fiatoy is just a sitting duck here. I can try giving it an order, but it just refuses to go anywhere. Oh, she already got hit by another torpedo. Well, that's it then for her. Last chip surviving. Sviatoy Iakov. Yep, there she goes. The Hibiki, though, is going to pay for the aggression from the Take and the Kaki. All the three inches are firing. And hopefully, quickly, we can switch fire to that other ship. Because she seems to be very vulnerable. Yes, she has a smoke screen, but she does not have propulsion. Come on, Hibiki. You know what to do. Thank you very much. Next target, Take. The enemy still has heavy cruisers, but I haven't seen those in a while. Mostly <laughs> because they don't have any propulsion left. Yeah, that would do it. Torpedo boat here does have torpedoes. The Otori has torpedoes. Hato still has torpedoes. I guess we're going to be torpedo beating for a while longer. Come on, Sviatoi, you can do this. There's a couple of these small little buggers. Range 2.2. Take is on fire. Also flooding by the looks of it. Propulsion is completely disabled. No, actually not completely. She had probably has a third engine. There she goes. Now she has three damaged engines. Oh crap, they still got a full health heavy cruiser? Two of them even. The Kumano and the Takari. That's gonna be a bit of a challenge to get rid of. Um, at least they don't carry torpedoes. <clears throat> which would make my life a hell of a lot more difficult. Alright, next target. Kaki with secondaries, mains on the Takari. Yep, hitting the cocky. Let's go to times five. Finally, I'm back able to do times five because initially, I think the game didn't even want to run on times three, even if I wanted it to. Accuracy on the mains is only six, seven, seven, eight. Is there any particular reason you're not firing those? Yeah, maybe because the bow gun is dead. The bow turret's been destroyed. So I really only have the stern turret available. Or do I? The stern turret has also been disabled. Oh. Well, that's going to make the whole situation a bit less fortunate. Because it means that I have only six inches... Six inch guns to bear on these ships. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. I probably will be able to sink the Kaki. She doesn't need much more. Propulsion disabled, which is always a good thing if you want to start killing destroyers. Ow. Come on, a few more hits. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> That's the type of damage that I want to see. 186 points. 25. 
Oh, ramming. seem to do a bit of damage to the Kumano, but I'm not sure if it was serious. It is serious for me, though, because my whole structural integrity is dropping quick. The Kumano did flood, though. Does that also work on me? Yeah, I'm also flooding. Well, that's gonna be it, then. The Kaki sinks. Well done. Next target, Takati. Because my guns should already be pointing in that direction anyway. Let's see if I can at least do some damage. Kumano has completely fixed the flooding and there is no sign of water on the ship anywhere. How many shells do I have left? Five and a half thousand for the three inch, 125 for the four, almost 700 for the six inch. Ammo is not the problem, survivability is. And I don't have enough of it. I'm flooding again. These guys are so close, and my armor has taken my armor has taken so many hits. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before they finish off this ship. There's again more flooding. Damage to the main funnel, damage to the main tower. I'm flooding all over. The ship's on fire. She has put up a very valiant fight, but it is the end of the line. Listening to starboard. And there she goes. Right, so the Japanese officially won the fight. Although the Russians did a hell of a number on them. They got a ton of damage. And, well, I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Did the Japanese win this one or did the Russians? Because, sure enough, the Japanese started with, uh, what was it, 20, 40, 64 ships. I think I sunk at least 40 to 50 of them. And the rest of them, well, there's still at least one healthy battleship and maybe a couple of relatively healthy cruisers. But aside from those ships, most of the others are going to need extensive time in dry dock. So let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Was this a win for the Japanese or for the Russians? Anyway, with that, end of the video. Long one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And I shall see you soon for more videos.